You can support Retro Recollections on Patreon, just like these wonderful folks. Thank you for your support. Hi everyone, welcome back. We're back with another episode on the Amstrad CPC 464. Now, if you recall my previous videos, you will remember that I've restored this as best as I can for now. Uh, and I gave it a test with a couple of tapes that I picked up for testing and seems to be working quite well. In the second video, I mentioned about looking at ways to load software into this in a more modern way. There are some options available. There are things like a DDI4 or DDI5, which you can use with either a GoTek or in the case of the DDI5 with a built-in floppy emulator. And I mentioned before, one way to make use of the cassette drive that's built into this machine, but if you don't have tapes, is to do an audio mod. Now this was done very expertly by Jan Beta recently, I think he did it last year, but he did say it's a little bit fiddly and he did have a bit of trouble getting the balances right and everything like that. So that got me thinking, can I do something similar but not damage or alter the case in any way and not have to solder anything because I'm not keen on modifying the case if I don't need to. Not because I want to keep everything stock, you know, I've done mods on other consoles and computers. It's the fact that sometimes they're quite brittle uh, and I don't want to get into a situation where I damage it. And for the case of making use of the tape drive, I didn't really want to do that for that. In the future, I might invest in, in the, one of the DDI products and try and get everything off floppy, you know, floppy emulation. So it got me thinking anyway, can I do a similar job with this, but not modify it? I took a punt and I came up with a solution that I want to try out. And the solution is... One of these. Now, anybody who had a, a car or had a family car in the 90s probably recognises one of these. This is an adapter to put in a cassette. It's designed for car cassette players normally. You pop that in and then you can plug your CD player into there via the headphone jack and you can play your CDs in the car via the tape machine. Now. The reason I thought this might work is for two reasons. The audio mod that was already pre performed on here basically takes a similar sort of input. It takes uh, an audio jack, but instead of using the head of the tape head to actually um, transfer the data, you're bypassing it. You're bypassing it by soldering the input directly to the back of the head or one of the points on the back of the cassette. If you want to see how that's done, check out Jan Beta's video, it's very good and, and explains exactly the pros and cons of that. This is a similar similar process, so the, the, the audio will be will be transmitted via this little, the little head on here to the magnetic tape reader in there. So um, it fools the machine into thinking it's, there's a cassette in the drive. and also, what's good about these is these cheap Chinese made tape things, only about a couple of pounds on eBay, I think it was about £2.50, something like that, delivered. So it's a very cheap solution and also, because it is cheap, it's only got a mono head on there. And obviously these machines require mono to work properly. If you had like a stereo one, I think you'd have worse results. So. I took a punt and I bought one of these. You combine this with some software, if you've got an Android phone especially, I'm not sure if there's anything for iPhone, but on Android you can get various apps that will do the job. I've settled on one called Tap Dancer. It is in the US Play Store, but for some reason it isn't in the UK one. Uh, so if, you're having, if, you're, if it's not in your local Play Store, you'll need to find other means of sideloading it on. But there are other others available, but I've only tested this one. It's pretty pretty good. You basically give it a directory full of 
tape files. In the case of the Amstrad CPC, they are CBT files. They are recognized by the app. The app will then convert that file to, back to audio and you play it basically and, you, and you, you use the machine to play it back. So let's see if we get some decent results with this or not. Okay, let's put the uh, tape in the drive. Now with this, I would recommend pulling it over the top like that because it's not quite a good fit. It's designed to go in cassette tape cassettes for cars, so which tend to go that way. If you put it in your drive and you make sure it doesn't get stuck, you should be able to get it on this way. And there's a little notch in the CPC there where you can uh, have the tape coming, tape cable coming out. And then of course you need your phone. The software recommends that you put your phone into airplane mode because any noises that come through is going to affect, it's going to affect it. So you plug your headphone jack in. Okay, let's take a look at the Tap Dancer software. Right, so from here, you can turn the machine on. And you basically, you can find your files. By pressing the eject. And here we are. So, let's find a good game. How about Grizor? It then converts the file to audio. Then you load as normal. Control enter, so then you press play on your tape machine. Press any key. And press play on the software. And it's found it. As you can see it works pretty well. No errors. Just slow like a tape. The only tricky bit is when the cassette wants to stop and obviously the file keeps playing so you've got to be quick and do whatever they ask you to do. Like there I had to press reset on the counter and press fire to load up in the next stage. Thank you. 
So I'm pretty pleased with this solution. It means I can play over a thousand games or more, I don't know how many there are, via the uh, tape, built-in tape drive of my CPC, and I've not spent the fortune to do so. Now, it isn't the most ideal solution, I'll grant you that, because it is a bit slow, it is a tape drive, so I, I would probably be on the lookout for a better solution in the future, but because I'm so new to this, this computer, it's a good way to get myself into it, play some of the, the titles and see how I find it without splashing out on a, an expensive add-on for the machine, which actually costs more than the machine. So I think I've done the right thing here. Very pleased with this. So if you've got a similar system, it'll probably work on anything with a cassette recorder. Obviously Commodore machines, there are better solutions like the Tap Wino and I think Spectrums have got the ZX Wino as well but if you're stuck with a machine that has a tape and no tape drive but no tape input then this is a great solution of course if you've got a machine like the, the original zx spectrum or a bbc or an acorn something like that that has a, an audio input you don't really need this you can just plug your phone in and use the tap dancer software directly and it will work that way so and because it's a digital conversion, you don't get many error, errors at all. I didn't get any errors trying all the, uh, the games I've tried so far. Granted, there's only been a few. So it's a lot more efficient than tapes and it stops your tapes wearing out. Even if you've got the original tapes, they do get dirty and they do, do get errors in them. So the you, last thing you want is to get through a, a tape for about five, 10 minutes and then finding errors at the end. This is less likely to do that as long as your cassette player is working properly. So I'll definitely recommend it. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Check the description for some links to how you can get in touch with me on social media, how you can support the channel if you wish. I'm always on the lookout for any sort of donations that you of anything, software, hardware, anything I can lay my hands on to progress the channel and discover new things so if you've got something lying about that you're not using you want to get rid of it let me know also there's links for other things on there so i'll put in a couple of links for the tap dancer software and various things so if you want to have a, a try of this and that's it so thank you very much again thanks for watching and i will see you next time until then bye bye mm -hmm.